Good evening everyone and welcome to another update. Wait a minute. Do I have sound going up? Uh, yeah I do. I think I'm okay. Um, if anybody's watching, I'll just quickly pop in the chat and just make sure that the sound's on. Um, I think I'm getting sound, we'll just have to wait, wait and see. Um, yes, welcome to the video update for the 14th of March 2016 uh, for Elite Encounters, the Elite Role Playing Game. Um, okay, we've, uh, the agenda went out this morning uh, because after quite a long session of actually getting the thing ready, um, I actually forgot to post it, which was a bit silly. But never mind, we got there in the end. Thank you, Fluffy Bonesque. Right, as I say before, um, I'm going to try not to speak the chat during this, uh, so I'm going to move my chat window out of the way so I can't see it. Um, <coughs> apologies. So, yes, without further ado, as I say, I sent the, the uh, agenda out. I have made a small change to the agenda. I've added a feedback and questions section um, since last night, which I'll deal with when I get to it. But uh, we'll just deal with the main update as you as you had it, which was progress and the counters, counters, counters. <coughs> I have to excuse my voice, it may give out. I've been trying to take care of it all day, but it's still a bit croaky. I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, okay, progress. R in relation to the miniatures rules slash vehicle combat system, uh, we are still waiting for word back on the license for Colin's miniatures application, for the application of his miniatures rules. Uh, they haven't got back to him as of yet. He has sent them a letter to try and see what's going on, uh, but again, Colin's still waiting back on that. It kind of it does have an impact on me. It doesn't have a pr productivity impact as such, but it does affect the way that I'm going to uh, sort of write about the miniature rules, the vehicle combat simulator, and all that kind of stuff as well, because um, because they're linked together. I would like to be as accurate as possible about how that linkage works. So if it's an official product at that point, I would like to make sure that it's in the write-up as an official product. And if it's not an official product, then it will have some kind of mention, but I'm not entirely sure how that would work at the moment. So that does give me a little bit of content headache at the moment. Um, so if you're watching this Frontier, if you can get back to Colin, that would be amazing. Thank you very much. My week, I had big plans this week. Uh, I had loads of graphics work to do and get a lot of typing done. Um, I did manage to get a few bits of graphics done at the start of the week and then the impact of a visit from sick grandkids on Sunday ended up with me getting a really bad flu, a uh, really bad cold, sorry, it wasn't really bad flu. Um, so it kind of laid me up from Wednesday onwards. Uh, so I've kind of been out of commission from that point up until Saturday where I managed to get online and do a bit of streaming on Saturday but then after I'd finished that my voice was killing me, my throat was killing me. My head was killing me and I was in pain all over the place so I went and lay down for a bit. I managed to get a little bit of stuff done last night, a bit more graphic stuff um, under the belt and uh, that was it I'm afraid. So not as productive a week as I had hoped. Um, this is why I tend to try and avoid the grandkids when they're ill but because it was my grandson's birthday wasn't really a lot of choice. So thank you for that, uh, my favourite grandson. Okay, so what I did manage to get done was a lot of graphics work in relation to the counters. Uh, so what that has involved is the creation of those lovely bits of graphical glory that you see in front of you there. Um, there's more than that. I've actually created on the order of about 40 counters at the moment and that's not even halfway through. This is to go into the book and the associated PDFs and downloads as printable options to use in your games. It also ties into the Kickstarter, which you guys are obviously watching this about, uh, because one of the pledge levels, or a couple of the pledge levels there, offered uh, ship designs to go into the, the miniatures counters collection. At the moment we have default ship styles from the game. Uh, the creation of these involved taking screenshots from the game, um, getting as much of a top view as I could possibly get on a ship and asking a few people, the, the anaconda picture in the middle there for example was uh, created courtesy of a lovely fiery toad posing for me in game. Uh, so that was nice. Um, <coughs> the intent is to obviously create uh, 
custom versions for those Kickstarter people who wanted them and have at least one counter for each ship. The set in the middle, the two in the middle here, the two anacondas, uh, the long one, sort of the, the double height one if you like, is literally a, a double length counter. The, the standard counter size is 4x4 four four centimetres. The anaconda one shown there is 8x4, so 8 tall, 4 wide. Um, as an option. Now I'm not entirely sure what way I'm going to go with that. What I've done on this is I've gone for the, the size differential in Elite Dangerous states that the three, there's three docking pad, three landing pad sizes, small, medium and large. What I've done here is I've created three different base sizes, a 4x4, a 6x4 and an 8x4. The 4x4 will include all the small ships, so that's the small landing, the ones that fit on small landing pads. The medium one, which isn't shown here, is the 6x4 and all of the, the medium ships will be included on that one. That's your Ferda Lance, your Type 6, that kind of thing, will go on there. Um, and the large ships, the Anaconda, the Type 9, um, etc, will go on that size counter. And I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work or whether it's going to look decent, which is why I'm having the option there. I'm going to present them in the book, hopefully. Not in the book, maybe not. I'm, I might actually do them as separate PDFs. So I may keep the book size as a standard sort of 4x4. Four four. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to take some advisory on that and see what people think before I make a final decision on that, I think. Um, but that's the option. So as I said, the, the process of making these is quite laborious. It's taking screenshots from the game, uh, keeping them on the hard drive, loading them into a graphics application, cutting out all the background stuff clearing up any messes that have been made, joining together some bits that may have been cut off which the Python took quite a bit of work to actually have because the Python's just too big to fit in the in the um, in the screen view from the external camera the debug camera so I had to stitch a few bits together on that but I think I've done quite a good job I don't think you can really tell at the, at the scale it is if I was doing it as a full size poster like sort of 4000k then you'd probably see the, the joins but down at this size, we are looking at about a quarter of the original size. You can't really see the, the difference. So only if you're looking for it, you'll know what to look for. Um, so there you are. Uh, that's Once I've done that, I then do a bit of image processing on them to sharpen them up a bit, make them a little bit brighter so that they stand out on the counter a bit more. Otherwise, some of them seem to blend into the background slightly and look a bit blurry. So as you sharpen them up, bring them out the page a little, and they look pretty good. Uh, hopefully when they print out they'll look as good as that as well. Now I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to start doing things like uh, black and white versions. So a color, I'll do a full colour ship but with a black background, uh, sorry a white background so you're, you're, it saves ink and we've been again eco-friendly. Again that's something that I would like some feedback on so if, if, you're, if you guys on who follow the Kickstarter or any other guys are out there and think that's a good idea or not please 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 send me a comment, it's like a comment on the Facebook page a comment on the YouTube video page, a comment on Kickstarter, whatever you feel like doing, on the RPG site, whatever. Just send me a comment and let me know what you think I should do, whether you want both types of file, both types of image. Um, I shall accommodate what you, what the majority think is best. So speak up or forever have your printer run out of black ink. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the main content. Now we actually had some feedback this week. And it kind of made me go back and look at a few of the, co the other feedback bits that we've had in the last few days. In the last few uh, couple of weeks, really. And I'm going to get on a bit of a high horse. Now, Fat Pop here is a, a, a common commenter who always seems to be wanting some more information and isn't happy unless he's got as much information as he can possibly get. So a comment from him on the 7th, which was after last week's up or just before last week's update was asking this question. If you're able to split the game into sections such as blah de blah de blah de blah you think are really relevant and perhaps give a percentage so we have an inkling of where we are. I've been following the updates and it does look like it's close and just global overview would be great though. I gave an answer on face on uh, Kickstarter um, and I addressed the question on last week's update as well. Today um, Fat Pop again made a post any terms of committing to a completion date or date range on tonight's update. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Last week, I did actually state something about an about a possible deadline, a possible point of being finished. Um, and I have said on 
on, on a slightly different tack on I have said on various different occasions that I'm quite happy to sorry I'm not happy to deal with repeated questions and repeated people asking the same thing again and again and again to the point where there is something that says that on the website and as far as I'm aware is on a couple of the posts as well so um, yeah I don't think it's particularly subtle you know it's fairly clear if you have anything you want to talk about, or you have anything that question about delays and deadlines, it's fairly clear that there's there's a response there. There's a frequently asked questions list sitting behind that that gives you some idea of why I tend to be a bit reluctant to get, dish out deadlines. So by all means, please bog off and read that, and stop badgering me. Um, so essentially, I was contemplating um, giving you a kind of deadline slash announcement tonight, but you know what? I don't want to know. And call me bitchy if you like. I don't care. Um, I did mention last week I was going to possibly say something this week. So, essentially, yeah, that's answered. So, thanks for that, Pop. Appreciate your questions. Um, and yeah, as I was going through that, I did uh, I did actually notice this one as well, which I'd, I believe... I did answer on Kickstarter, but I'm going to answer it here as well, because I think it's worthy of an answer. Um, on March 8th, what's the call in waiting for word back from Frontier on license about? What license you're referring to? Hmm. Now, I, I just want to point out that I have been discussing the progress of the work I've been doing with Colin since I came back online at the middle of January. So that's on the order. So that's like nearly three months. In fact, nearly two. It's just over two months now. At one at one episode of this a week. So that's what eight different updates, nine maybe updates, where I've consistently been speaking about what I've been doing with Colin. Um, so that's on the video and in the agenda and on the PDF that's been put online. It's all talked about in there with you know different things going on. So, not entirely sure where Pob's coming from. This is again. I'm going to flick back to Pob's March seventh um, post, which highlighted in white. There is the statement he makes. So you know, I, I can't really go any further than that. So, what licenses am I referring to? You know, well, I'm not overly sure. You know, I'm, I was talking about something, but you know, I, I maybe wasn't making it very clear what I was talking about. So, I don't know, you know if, if I've been slightly confusing or maybe ob obscure about it, then all I can do is apologise, but pff, what am I referring to? Yeah, it could be, it could be a, I don't know, you know, it could be a game of some type, it could be something that's tying into the RPG. Um, maybe I've not talked about it enough, maybe I should do daily updates, maybe I should flash big white lights somewhere, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But anyway, so there you go. Um anyway, yes, moving along from that uh um actually, you know what? I I'm not going to be bitchy to you guys. I'm going to be nice to you. Um especially Paul. So <clears throat> enjoy. Ahem. Um, so, yes, there you go. Um, the book will hopefully be out. And I'm saying hopefully with a very small emphasis on hopefully because essentially it will be out in July. I can't exactly say which date in July, which actual day in July, but it will be out in July. 
So there you go. I hope you're happy with that, Pop. Is that clear enough? Do you want me to put in any bigger letters for you? Just let me know. I'm sure I said July last week. Positive I said July last week. But there you go. Anyway, you've got it there. It will be out. You will have the book in electronic format in July. Um, the hard copy versions will come out at some point after that because... Uh, I'll go into that next week anyway. I'm going to clarify some of those points next week, hopefully, and let you know what that might be. Um, essentially, I am now into a, a long phase. I want to get this book out by July. Frontier want me to get this book out by July, so I am now sort of on the on the back heel of a, a a rather lengthy work ethic to get everything polished off to the extent where it needs to be. It's going to be a challenge, um, but I'm not delaying anymore. I'm not well. Essentially, I'm not allowed to delay anymore either. Um, I'm quite keen to get this out the door and ready uh, but not compromise the quality so I will be from this point I think essentially working on the book pretty much every night up until it up until it's done so however long that takes and that's why I've been kind of focused on the graphic stuff because I know what graphic stuff can be like if you don't whack it all in one go then it, it becomes quite piecemeal and you then got to relearn what you were trying to do with each thing remember what all the different filters you used, all the different processes you used, all the different measurements that you use, all the different stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to try and focus on individual areas and get them finished before moving on. So I'm going to try and get the graphics out of things. That will mean the, the counters, the posters, all the sort of ship related stuff, get that done as quick as I can and then move on to finishing the writing off and finishing the lists and stuff off. And again this will all merge back into the main rules hopefully within a few weeks. So there you go. As I say, I'll go into that a bit more next week, um, but for now we're uh, going to call a halt to the update and current with what's happening soon. So this week, uh, after this stream, if you're hanging about in the chat there waiting for the mainstream to start, then well done, because we will be having the final chapter of Monday Night Mayhem, where I'm going to take on some people in CQC if they're around. If not, I'll just take on whoever's around. So if anybody wants to join me in that, or anybody wants to nip into the... CQC and Discord and we'll have a bit of a sesh and that's fine otherwise I'll just take on strangers and fly with strangers which will be disorganised but still fun um, ok events and so on um, I know it's finished but uh, yes uh, not yes yeah yesterday was uh, the Gamers for Mankind drive that my dog and Kate Clay did in, in, a, in to raise awareness of the Mankind initiative which supports uh, male victims of domestic violence they raised over two and a half thousand in 12 hours Wow, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I hope that's a, a great achievement, and well done to the guys for that. And the stream itself was awesome. The people on there, people on there chatting about things, and they had giveaways, and they have game playing, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it certainly was an eye opener. I'm probably going to discuss it a little bit in um, in, in the mainstream, in the so game stream later on. But uh, yeah, very well done to the guys. Everyone who was on that chat session in the chat rooms, on the games, on the interviews. Stars. Absolute bloody stars. So, yeah. Um, still hoping something's going to be kicking off next week, but next weekend. But I've not heard anything back from anyone in relation to it. So I'm not sure what's going to be happening, uh, or even if it is going to happen. Uh, for one thing, I have a birthday party on the 19th that I'm meant to go into, so I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to be available that day or not. So we're going to have to make sure. we we'll see what we can get. But I'll I'll try and let you know during the week if you're interested. Um, if you want to have a look at the RPG or have a play of the RPG, then Elite Meet in April on April the second at Red Horse Hotel in Glasgow. I'm not going, but Psycho Cow is looking up for people who can run the game up there. And LaveCon 2016 in July, July the 16th and 17th. By which point, just to make it clear for people who may not understand, hopefully the game will be out by then to buy and I can actually sell it from a table at the thing, at the convention with a website on that has a buy button where you can buy it and then instantly download it to your tablet or your PC or your brain if you have a connection that fits in your ear etc. It's exciting stuff, I'm quite looking forward to that. <sighs> so the next update will be the 21st of March, 8pm uh, as usual UK time. If you have any comments, questions or feedback apart from Fat Pop then by all means get in touch. I'm only joking, Bob. <laughs> the, 
then let me know by next Monday at 6pm and I'll talk about it in the broadcast. Hopefully with less sarcasm than I have done tonight. I do apologise, Paul. But I don't apologise all that much because you know what the rules are. I've not been exactly mystical about the rules. Uh, so yes, if you want to get in touch with me, all my contact details are at the bottom there. Alternatively, you can leave comments on Kickstarter or on the YouTube uh, channel, etc. Um, yeah, that's it. So, uh, you guys who are sitting waiting for the, the game stream to start, it will be happening in a few minutes once I flip everything over. Thank you for watching. Speak to you next week, or later on, whichever. Take care. Fly safe. Don't throw dice at people. Good night.